My name is Andy Hornby, photographer and vlogger. 17 years ago I started teaching myself photography. Today I travel the UK as a professional wedding photographer, landscape photographer and filmmaker. Learn from my experiences, my mistakes and my tips and advice. I don't know what I just crushed in the back of my seat there. I am just getting my boots on. I've just turned up at Port Solent because I'm going to be doing a live stream today. How funky is that? I'm going to be doing a live stream today from the shipwreck. Oh, it's tight. It's, it's actually quite nerve wracking. I've never really done a live stream, not in, in like this capacity where I'm going to be talking to, to everyone and doing almost like a, a vlog to people. And I'm going to be kind of almost like teaching a little bit as well. Uh, it's something new for me, obviously, with what's going on at the moment. It's an avenue I'm looking into doing as, you know, I think this potentially might be the last time I get out in a while. You know, my workshops have all stopped. You know, I'm losing a lot of money in, in my business. So I'm looking at other avenues to uh, make, it, make a little bit of a living with my photography at the moment. And that way looks like it's gonna to have to be virtual, you know, online, live stuff. Potentially, I'm looking at a bit of software called Zoom that will help me deliver, you know, almost like a classroom course, but online. So I'm carry on doing my beginner workshops, that kind of stuff, because I've had to postpone and cancel a lot of bits and pieces. So today I'm gonna, it's almost like a tester almost, to see how, well, I'm gonna be doing this on my phone, but to see how the live streaming sort of works in a way. I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite nervous because I've never really gone live. I mean, at the moment talking to you on, on actually on my phone, I'm not nervous at all, I can talk all day because uh, I know I can get to edit bits that I make mistakes on and stuff like that, but on a live stream, you make a mistake, it's there, it's gonna be out there. And, and if you watch back, because this will obviously go out after my live stream, if you watch back and watch the live stream, you'll probably see me doing a lot of ands and buts and I do a lot of, I tut a lot uh, before I talk and I generally generally edit that out of my video so you don't really see that kind of side side of my talking and I can't do that on live stream so it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be a learning curve for me too it's quite windy out there so I don't know how I'm gonna have to live stream on my phone so I don't know how that's gonna hold up I have to find somewhere find a windbreak somewhere if I can and uh, you know just hope for the best but I wanted to do this kind of almost like behind the scenes video too. Uh, a, because it gets me another video. Uh, I'm not doing a lot of videos at the moment because of what's going on. I'm not getting out much. And like I say, I think this might be the last time I get out for a while. Because I think in the UK, the government's going to change their rules this week about about allowing people to travel. Because at the moment, we can, we can go out for exercise, which is what I'm using this kind of as an excuse to do. It's my one bit of exercise today. I'm going to be alone. I'm not... I'm literally, I'm, I'm taking this thing massively serious. I don't want anyone to think that I'm not taking this seriously because I've got a girlfriend at home who's pregnant and, and I'm being really paranoid about what I do, where I go, what I touch and, and you know, stuff like that. Uh, you do see me touch my face quite a bit because I'm a, I'm a touch, but I have washed my hands literally uh, five minutes ago and I'm sanitizing pretty much everything I can. Uh, from the house to the car, there was no one around. From the car, obviously, there's no one around. From here to the shipwreck, uh, I assume no one's over there because the shipwreck is really hard to get to anyway. Not that many people know about it. So I'm going to be taking the walk over in a second. It takes about half an hour to get there. Uh, and I've got about an hour before my live stream starts. And I want to, you know, I wanted to do this behind the scenes bit as well. So let's crack on. I'm going to, I'm going to get my jacket on and, and sort my bag out. My bag's open for some reason. And oh, I hope nothing fell out there. Because there's bits in there I'm going to be needing today. I don't know why my bag was open. Jeez. Uh, and yeah, so I've got some hand sanitizer wipes that I've had for a long time in my bag. I'll kick them in my bag because uh, my missus works for NHS and I'm going to be wiping my, my hands down as much as I can. So don't worry if you see me touching my face. I'm, I'm all sorted. Let's get on with this and go for a wander. And oh, hopefully we can get a decent live stream. Uh, so yeah, so we watch this now. Watch the end of this video, then go back and watch my live stream. Uh, should be good fun. Okay, let's get over. Let's do this. Bye.
Well, there she is. I'm trying to find somewhere that's not too windy for it. I'm going to have to find somewhere around these kind of bushes to sort of hide myself from the wind when I go live because I don't want a really crappy audio signal. Uh, it's the last thing I want to do on a live video. You can probably hear the motorway behind me. I'm very secluded here. There's no one else around at all. So I'm, I'm being safe. Don't worry, I'm being safe. Uh, but I need to set my gear up because I want to do a few test shots before I go live because I'm going to be doing things like long exposure photography which means I'm going to need my phone. I won't be able to use my phone while I'm live streaming so if I get the settings now the ambient light in the sky isn't going to change throughout my uh, my live stream so the settings should stay the same throughout whatever I need to do. And I also want to do a time lapse because there are a few clouds in the sky look. These clouds are going to make for an awesome time lapse in and around the, uh, the ship. And the reason why I chose 1 p.m. is because it's high tide. I've not been down in a high tide uh, for a long time, actually. High tide for me coming down here has been elusive for the last year or so. Every time I come down here, it's been low tide. But if I want to do some long exposure stuff, I can silky smooth the water out as well, which is really good. All that water there will be nicely smoothed out. Fingers crossed we get a good day today. That wind, that's going to be the bane of my life. I need to find some kind of wind stop. Might have to use my jacket somewhere uh, to try and uh, shield myself in the wind. Anyway, I'm going to get set up. Uh, I'm on the rocks down here. Look, I don't generally go down there. You can't go down there, but these rocks are very, very un unstable. So you have to be really careful going out down there. If you ever come down there by yourself, uh, my advice would be don't go down there. Stay at the top here, you know, near the path somewhere. This should be okay. Well, that wind is picking up, so I'm going to get cracking. Hopefully, you can hear this. I'm going to start setting up. See in a bit. I'm going to do a bit of a tester for a long exposure. I've done my calculations to 2 minutes 44 with my filter on. And I'm just going to punch that one out. Hopefully we can get a good exposure. You can see all the clouds in the sky have gone, so long exposure isn't really worth it. I'm going to hopefully get the smooth, silky water at 2 minutes 44. Should smooth that out quite a bit. Uh, this is just a tester. Don't forget the, la the, the light in the sky isn't going to change much, so those settings shouldn't change throughout my live stream. So I'll be able to explain that hopefully in the live stream. We'll see. I just don't know. Hopefully it turned out right. If it did, you might see it in a second. Just so you know, I've got two battery packs, so my phone shouldn't run out of battery hopefully during the live stream. I don't know how long these live streams go for, I'm hoping forever. But I don't know if my phone has any constraints for live streams, I don't know, I guess I'll find out. But we'll see. So battery packs, awesome. Got some food in me as well. Simple jam sandwich. You can't beat a jam sandwich. Huh. A generation of my time. That was actually not too bad. It did all right, actually. Uh, I'm a little bit right, it's, it's the A7R4, new camera, I've never done much long exposure with it. My A7R2 was a bit of a, well, it was okay for landscape photography, but for long exposure, you get a lot of hot pixels. Uh, if you don't know what that is, have a Google, I can't explain it in this video. Uh, but I found that, you know, I really struggled with the A7R2. Hopefully this one doesn't have it and uh, it'll all be good. It's mainly in the, like, the sort of darker situations when you're doing long exposures, maybe at sunset. Uh, is what it is but that weren't too bad anyway i've got about five minutes for a live stream i'm going to get set up for that now so i want to thank you for watching this don't go anywhere because i'm going to do a little bit of a talk afterwards i'm nervous as hell funny enough it's really really nerve-wracking but uh, let's get me in focus it's just i've just never really done a live stream before so hopefully it goes okay fingers crossed the wind has been a bit of a bugger as you can probably hear in this video so hopefully i don't lose a lot of people because of the wind I'm just going to do what I can. I've actually got my jacket around the back of the of the phone, so hopefully it'll be all right. Anyway, stay there, don't go anywhere, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. That was really nerve-wracking, actually, but after a little while, got into the swing of things. Worked out okay. Hope everyone had a good uh, good hour session. It was a good hour. Didn't really do much more than hours. I was going to hopefully do a little bit more, but... Uh, a couple of videos went past. I don't really know what I'm up to, so. Uh, but we got through a few bits and pieces, which is good. And I hope everyone uh, 
Uh, got something out of it, it's very windy, sorry. That's better. So yeah, so I hope you got something out of it. There's the shipwreck there, look. And uh, if you ever want to come down, I've got a video of someone how to get down here. Uh, don't go anywhere just yet, because I'm going to show you my calendar that I've made for next year. I've done a 2021 calendar. It's a Portsmouth sort of landmarks calendar. If you want to pre-order, I've got a pre-order link on my website. Uh, so when I get home, I'm going to show you that just in a second, so don't go anywhere. All right. But thanks to those who joined me on the live stream. It was, uh, yeah, really good. really enjoyed it. And, and trying to deliver something virtually now is going to be the way to go. I didn't really get any pictures down there because, to be fair, the, the sky is just too nice. It's just too nice. There's not a lot I can get out of that. There's no clouds. There's one or two clouds, but it's not anything mega great about the sky. Uh, it's probably going to be the last time I get out for a while, so it was nice to just get one, one nice picture of the, of the shipwreck. <sighs> well, I'm going to get back. Uh, so hang around, I'll show you the uh, cans that I've made up. I'll see you in a bit. Ooh. And there we are, I'm home. Uh, I just wanted to quickly show you my calendar. Obviously I'm looking at streams of, of you know, uh, making money elsewhere other than my uh, workshops at the moment. And I had this made up a little while ago. And I've got a couple of these. This is quite a large copy. I'm not selling anything this uh, this big. But on my website, I'm selling an A4 version of this. And I'll show you some of the pictures that I put in it. Obviously, that's one of my favorite pictures. It's on the front. And, you know, that's where we just were. Another couple of pictures. Da -da 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 da 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 shipwreck. Love that picture. All that kind of stuff. Let's go back. And bits like that. I had a couple of these made up as a tester, really. And I'm going to keep one of these. But I've got another one this size. I'm going to do as a giveaway, so watch out for a future video. That'll be a giveaway probably next week or the week after. Uh, so look out for that if you want one of these for free. I'll be doing a giveaway. Uh, on my website, you can buy them. They're A4. They are currently uh, £20.99. These are going to be printed up nearer Christmas. Do your pre-orders now if you can, so I can get all the orders in. And then come sort of October time, I can start getting numbers together and start getting the printers sorted out to get them printed. And yeah, really good quality, really happy with the quality of these ones. The layout might change slightly because I'm, I'm doing a slightly different layout to this. The, uh, the front cover has this kind of motif, the, 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 the uh, months of the year kind of thing. That may change. And the bits and pieces in and around the calendar colours, that may change. Uh, but to give you a good idea, the pictures that are in this will be the pictures you get on your calendar. I don't make a lot of money out of those, by the way. The twenty pounds ninety nine pence, pretty much, you know, after PayPal fees and stuff like that, pretty much, uh, I get a couple of pounds uh, profit out of that. But hopefully, I'll make enough orders to make a little bit of money. Hopefully. Anyway, I'm waffling on because that's what I do. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please whack a thumbs up if you got anything out of it. It was my behind the scenes to my live feed that that I did. Uh, very nerve wracking. Uh, but got through it pretty well and an hour's worth of live footage uh, is now on my YouTube channel. So if you haven't seen that, go and have a, have a watch. It's quite informative. It's quite good. I did a little bit of, uh, you know, the, the, the kind of uh, basics in photography when I go to a, a, a location, how I set up, that kind of stuff. Uh, the apps I use, that kind of, and, and uh, a little bit of uh, long exposure photography is in there. We've got a little bit of talk about time lapse because I know a lot of my, my guys and girls who follow me like to know about time lapse photography and I do a lot of that obviously. So please have a look at that uh, if you can. That'd be fantastic. Whack a thumbs up on this video. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you get updates every time I upload a video. And until the next one, guys, uh, hopefully it'll be soon. I don't know what, what capacity it's going to be in, whether it's going to be indoors, outside, probably not. Uh, or on my computer, I might do a few a few editing videos. If you've got any ideas of videos you'd like me to do for you, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you want me to do. Right, take care, have a good day, and stay safe, guys. See you soon.